Hello. Hello, hello, hello. I think we're here. I think we're live. I'm hoping it is working. You know the drill. It's Thursday. And that means it's time for interactive handpan live stream. Give me a word or a phrase and I will turn it into some music for you all. Hope you're having a wonderful Thursday. I went out in shorts today. That was fantastic. I enjoyed it very much. Uh, so yeah, and uh, to kick it off, I see Fraz already put some in the comments. So I'm just going to get going. It's a snow day! That feeling of jubilation and joy when you wake up and you look out of the window and you realise you do not have to go to work, you do not have to go to school. It's magical. who's just joining in hello you're welcome you're not late you're perfectly great to be here oh thank you uh i went shopping i was gonna try but well, basically i have like no pants no shirts like no t-shirts nothing like that so i went shopping and the only thing i returned with was this new shirt which I have so many shirts. I have so many blue pattern shirts, but nonetheless, I got another one. Thank you, Ali. Right. Okay. I have a really, really big confession to make. Um, I have never seen any David Attenborough. <laughs> never. Like I literally just never seen an episode of it until last night 
where I sat down with my houseboats and we watched so much. We watched, it's amazing. Like nature is so cool. And so we watched the history of everything when David Attenborough was very like sprightly and sporting and, and scuba diving and all things like this. And he was in love with flatworms. David Attenborough kept being like, these are lovely, the loveliest creatures of all. So this is about flatworms, but also about me finally aged 28, discovering the majesty of nature. And these crazy under the sea creatures, so many amazing creatures. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and their calm, serene Zen world. flatworms swimming around in the sea looking amazing and also nature being so mad like we saw this octopus about and it was all made up of single cells and they were all single cells working together and I just nature is the maddest thing I, it's really blowing my mind this is all news to me also hi everyone that's just joining you know the drill welcome welcome put a word in the comments I'll turn it into music you know how it goes don't forget to like the video and send it to your mates if you know someone who'd like to join in on the hand pan act <laughs> I felt my soul come back to me this morning when I looked out and it was sunny I was straight on with the shorts obviously if you're not based in the UK we've had um I want to say three years of solid rain I think that's how it feels uh and today we had sunshine
That was me scampering around London today with my little shorties on, my handpan on my back, going to work like, yeah! Oh, lovely. Oh, yeah, don't forget to like the video. Thanks, all of you that have already. Thanks for being here. Hope you're all having wonderful days. Dreaming of a fairy tale cottage. Yes, we're going to go. We're going to go away. So, thinking about being in nature, relaxing, not being at work. Half term is coming up for any of you who work in school like environments. So, this is for you. One more week, one more day to go. Before relaxing in nature, think about trees. Oh, <laughs> I need to calm down after that sunshine. cottage uh, maybe going and having a nice time too welcome to everyone who's just joining you're so welcome here don't forget to give me a word thanks <laughs> yeah <laughs> so uh, facebook's got that thing um where it's like oh this is what you were doing um and uh as St. Rebecca one that we were doing like t nine years ago we were hanging out in her student halls being very silly making up poems so old photos bring you back to those times where you were sometimes they're great memories sometimes they're more complicated so yeah old photos about times yeah times gone by good or bad just past <laughs> Thank you. 
old photos. Good, bad memories, all joyful, lovely. And being young. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, coffee. Yes, coffee. Yes, coffee. Mm-hmm. Coffee is so delicious. It's so nurturing and healing. I used to, I, I like gave up caffeine for a while. And then once I just, I just smelt that coffee and I just, after two years, I caved and now I'm back on it. Full force, loving it. So when you're feeling down, co- coffee lifts you up, lifts you up. coffee makes you jittery and i set myself the ridiculous challenge of trying to play a similar thing again and again and again getting faster and faster which might have been easier if i wasn't improvising but here we are (laughs) Yay! well from the dizzying highs of coffee to other people's heartache yeah, it's not. It sucks, especially with the lockdown being apart from everyone, and when they're having a rubbish time and you can't go out, give them a big cuddle. So other people's heartache, just that secondhand, secondhand sadness. I'm trying to be a good pal to your pals. <laughs> Specifically, Ali's like. <laughs> uh-huh. uh-huh. 
No, no, generic heart rate, heartache, generic, generic. I couldn't possibly tell you how you feel. heartbreak but maybe like hopes things might get better and and when you're you know you're listening to someone and they're going around they're saying the same sorts of things again and again and again and you're just kind of like supporting them listening to them letting them feel their feelings so anyone with heartbreak souls heartache it's not the same as break it's not the same as break In true Whiplash style, let's take ourselves now to Zebra Crossings. Oh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. Uh, you're all fantastic. Right, Zebra Crossings. I mean, you get to make the cars wait, which is always great. And sometimes they don't wait, which is rude. How else, how else do I feel about Zebra Crossings? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Oh, 
when I was little up in Hanover, uh, walking to school, there's one zebra crossing, uh, you know, at the top of Hanover, getting up to St. Luke's. And they, whenever they used to turn, the cars go go around. I'd heard my parents say, "Indicators got out of fashion," because they wouldn't indicate. And once I said that, and this old lady was like, "Yes, very good," because I must have been this seven year old sassing the cars of ten year old or whatever. Um... <laughs> okay, fantastic. Right, 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 right. Zebra crossings. So I'm thinking about yeah, road crossings generally. Just roads, just being safe. Travel. about like being suddenly stopped and going uh, uh. <laughs> thank you you always challenge me in my handpan improv improvisations oh i should actually announce um yeah i was announced yesterday that i got a grant which is so exciting um so some people over at uh, royal philharmonic society like what I'm doing and they said good Rosie keep doing handpan things so I'm a trailblazer so I'll be I mean I'll just be doing more of what I'm doing to be honest but yeah thanks to them uh, and partly because you all come and you watch me because I wouldn't be doing it if you weren't here giving me words and watching me so thanks just thought I'd share it because I feel like I'm hanging out with my mates which is <laughs> what these things are anyway <laughs> uh, uh, yeah <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> suddenly quiet. It's funny, isn't it? I love it. I'm just like with the popcorn. Like it, it would be more hilarious if they weren't actually in charge. But um, yeah, hilarious that they're um giving us all this great quality drama. It's like, I don't know, people bickering, isn't it? Anyway, yeah, suddenly quite liking Dornick Cummings. <laughs>
complex feelings, some humor, some some annoyance, but generally pleased that he's being such a shit stirrer. <laughs> it's fun. Amazing, amazing. Oh, better days ahead. There are definitely better days ahead. Yeah, let's have a think about them. Yes. Oh, yeah. One of the better things that's coming. Thank you, Neil. You may know Neil from uh, his wonderful contribution on here. And you might know that I'm doing a gig next week. So if you are in London, come along. I put a link in the bio for where you can get tickets. Because of COVID rules, you've got to get one online. So you can't just rock up. So if you're not sure, get a ticket. Then go. Uh, Neil, feel free to pop more details about the time and the place in the chat again. Um, and yeah, let's all think about. So yeah, come get a ticket. See me do it live. I can't believe it. A real audience of people looking back at me. It's going to be wild. Um, and yeah, I'm going to play about better days ahead. And I'd actually love to know something that you're looking forward to, everyone. Um, I don't have to play it as a hand pump piece. I just want to hear some nice things that everyone's excited about. So yeah, better things ahead, including this gig, but also joyful coming together and love, which is what the gig will be.
That was so lovely. I really enjoyed sitting and playing and reading your lovely comments about what we're all looking forward to. Hugging people, meeting up with friends and family again. It's going to be joyful. Thanks. Ah, right. Oh. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Bird Siri. A little magpie or parrot song. Oh, like little twittering, twittering birds. Okay. Okay. All the different sounds of animals. Halfway through that, I just started thinking about what a parrot song is, which is um, Polly wants a cracker. <laughs> but I um, I didn't try and render that into handpan form. <laughs> hey everyone, just joining. Don't forget to put a word into the comments for me to turn into a new piece of music. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ooh. A full moon cloud. <laughs> full moon cloud. I can't even read this. Full moon featuring clouds last night. If you didn't see it, you are a rude boy. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, this is about the full moon last night. Also, while I was playing that, I remembered that um, I played some handpan in a workshop uh, at the weekend, and I'd done it on like in the start of September. And one of the children wrote a comment to say, "Well done, Rosie. You've got a lot better at playing the handpan. You've obviously been practicing," <laughs> which made me laugh because it's true. <laughs> and it's very kind. All right, full moon. I'm thinking stormy. I'm thinking dark. I'm thinking clouds without eclipse. 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 <laughs> said a word yet because you're shy and you think it might be the wrong sort of a word don't be shy pop it in the chat and let me try and turn it into some music for you i love getting challenges it could be how you're feeling it could be something you're hoping it could be something that happened to you it could be something else 
And if you already said a word, but you want to say another one, you can too. You're totally welcome. Right. Hey to everyone that's joining. You're all lovely. Thanks for being here. I mean, drinking beer. Is there anything better? <laughs> It's a warm day. You found a deck chair from somewhere. You're sitting in the sunshine. And why does it always taste better out of a bottle of beer than a can when it's a warm day? I don't know. I don't know. It just starts. It just tastes classier. You can tell. Oh, yeah. And don't forget to subscribe. Uh, as you know, I do these every week for free and I love to do them. And thank you all for being here. But if you do want to donate and people have been more and more, which is amazing uh you totally can there's a few ways or you can become a patreon so many of you are already or you can watch the videos i've made a playlist and you can just pop it on before you go to bed and youtube will think i'm popular okie dokie let me take you to a warm garden with beer <laughs> Thanks everyone joining me. That was drinking beer. Now, which leads me directly on to this suggestion. <laughs> oh, 
tipsy. <laughs> Maybe you've had one beer too many, yeah? <laughs> Tipsy. Tipsy wobbling home from the pub. Gently swaying through the world, happy and tipsy. And some science here. Apparently, it genuinely does taste better. Huh. Huh. Wow. Science from Ali. And she's a chef, so she should know. What? Alrighty, let me get some rainfall. I hope it's not raining where you are. We've got beautiful sunshine in London. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for watching. Yeah, fantastic people. Let me give you some rainfall, but I'm too cheerful for it to be the normal sad, sad, sad rainfall that this act brings to me. <laughs>
thank you all for being here for so much fun today uh i'll be back again next week so please come back tell your mates uh, as always feel free to write which one was your favorite uh in the comments it's really useful to me and just nice to know um that's it have a wonderful week enjoy the sunshine enjoy the half term uh and just continue being amazing Thank you all. See you soon. Bye.